endoscopic resection uh, in the gut is associated with the risk of intraprocedural bleed and delayed bleed. So intraprocedural bleed, most of the time a doctor performing endoscopic resection should be capable enough to control and treat. However, delayed bleed remains a big challenge for all of us in the endoscopy community. My name is Pradeep Bandari. I'm a consultant gastroenterologist based in Portsmouth in the UK. I've been using Purestat for almost four years now. To start with, our purpose of using Purestat was purely during ESD. ESD is a type of procedure where we encounter a lot of intraprocedural bleed. And normally we will be using heat to control that bleed. And the problem when we use heat is risk of perforation goes up. So that's where it fitted in really well. We started using Purestat for all the intraprocedural bleed and then we were using Purestat to reduce the risk of delayed bleed after resection. We can identify patients who are at high risk of delayed bleed as compared to those who are not at high risk. So we know that patients with duodenal EMR are at very high risk of delayed bleed. We know that elderly patients or those with right-sided uh, large colonic lesions, those patients who take aspirin and clopidogrel or have multiple comorbidities, they are at high risk of delayed bleed. So whenever we're performing endoscopic resection in these group of patients, we use Purestat at the end of the procedure prophylactically to reduce the risk of delayed bleed. It has almost become our routine practice now in this select group of patients to use Purestat.